do, do you feel like the physician offers you know greater depth and breadth of experience and training that you can rely on in cases that you're unsure? Well, um, I I do believe that a physician is educated different than I am, and I do believe that they have. Um, what in what way? I mean, what's your perception of how their education is different than you? I mean, I'm. I'm I hope you don't mind us having this little conversation because no. I think it goes directly to the issues we're talking about. No, I, I think that when I collaborate with a physician, that physician has been with me for a month. They know what my capabilities are. But I'm talking about training now. I mean, how do you perceive the training that your doctor has had and what you have had? Is are they on a par or has his been or her been more? Or um, it's been think? different. Um, I got a diploma from Barnes Hospital um, in 1973. I went to Washington University School of Medicine to become a psychiatric nurse practitioner. Um, I went to Maryville and got a bachelor's degree. I went to Mizzou and got a family and geriatric um, NP um, along with a master's of science. And I went to St. Louis University to get my doctorate of nursing practice. So I've had a lot of education. So to compare year to year, my education is different. I'm a nurse practitioner, they're a physician. But I have lots of education and lots of clinical experience. I've been a nurse since 1973. So in your particular case, maybe you feel that the doctor's presence or his availability is not really all that important? I mean, it sounds as though you're pretty well qualified to take care of it on your own. Well, I um, have a collaborative arrangement in order to assist me. And we have a working relationship. And I don't see any issue. Okay. Very good. Thank you.